Hello and welcome to the Global Church Project. I'm Graham Hill. Kevin Yao's taught Chinese church history, theology and culture at many prestigious institutions across Asia and the US. He gets exchanges happening between Korean, Japanese and Chinese church leaders and theologians. And his interests include fundamentalist and evangelical movements in China, comparative studies of Christianity in China, Korea and Japan, and a range of other things. He examines the fascinating history of Christian pacifism in China and engages in a rich examination of Chinese traditional religions and cultures and how they engage with Christianity today. He's published widely in English and in Chinese. What do you think is most misunderstood about the Chinese church? I would say there are a couple of things I can name. And number one is that um, we, from the outside, we turn to have a polarized view uh, about Chinese church, especially mm. along the line of three self mm. and, and the house church. Mm. You know, uh, it seems to, uh, to me um, you cannot generalize the relation between those two. Yeah. Uh, it's a very complicated issue. Mm. Uh, basically, you're talking about two uh, separate systems. Um, but at national level, there are a great mm. deal of animosity, and, and, uh, and, and there is no communication at all. Mm. Um, so, but um, at the grassroots level, there are actually a lot of collaboration, a lot of communication mm. between those two. Mm. So I would say the relationship between those two are far more uh, complicated than we uh, imagine. Mm. And number two, I would say um, most of the house church uh, are apolitical too. You know, mm. uh, they are not automatically for, even though they are under persecution, but they are not automatically against their government. Mm. You know, uh, they are willing to work with the government mm. and they want to focus on their mm. own uh, religious life. Mm. Uh, most of them have no interest in such agenda as the human rights and democracy. Mm. Mm. You know, in the individual Christian believers may be interested in a topic like that. Mm. But I would say uh, as a church, um, as a, a community, and most of them are not interested. Mm. Yeah. Mm. How do you think that Westerners can become more informed about the Chinese church today? And secondly, mm -hmm. how can we partner with the Chinese church today? Mm. Uh, first of all, I would say um, my advice is that uh, uh, try not to generalize mm. and spend the time, be patient, and spend mm. the time investigating mm. and spend time uh, researching. Mm. Uh, do not jump on the conclusion and mm. so quickly. Mm. Uh, so uh, I would say a mm. uh, lot of research, mm. a lot of personal contact with uh, different church groups and three self or house church mm. leaders and grassroots uh, mm. lay people, grassroots mm. believers, average believers, uh, you know, you have really have to create multiple mm. uh, channels to, to, to reach out, mm. to reach the Chinese church. Uh, second question, uh, I would say, uh, there, I think there, there, there are a number of things global church can partner with the Chinese church or they can help each other. Uh, I would say pray for them and also uh, help them to train their leaders mm. and leaders, leaders, mm. especially theological educators, um, and also help them to get involved in the global church. Mm. Yeah? Uh, I would say the material needs are, are still there, but not mm. as important as before. Mm. And if I was to ask you what are the one or two key things that the Chinese church can say to the global church today. What would be the two things that you think, yep, this is really the th what the Chinese church is saying to the broader church? We want to be part of a global church. Mm. Uh, 
we want to uh, play our role in mm. uh, global missions. Mm. We used to be at the receiving end mm. for many decades, mm. all the way till 1990s, early mm. 21st century. Now is the time for us to make a contribution yeah. and help us to be part of the global church. We mm. want to come out. We want mm. to join you. Mm. You know, that's, a, that's a one thing I heard uh, more and more strongly uh, in the recent years. Mm. Uh, number two, I would say uh, the Chinese church want the global church, global church know that China is a complex society. Mm. So uh, they want the global church to respect the diversity mm. of Christian community in that country. Yeah. Complicity. Mm. You have the high profile church leader on the global stage, mm. but don't forget the majority of the Chinese mm. church are grassroots ones. Yes. And their leaders and their 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 uh, church member, um, you know, they're just uh, very content with what they're doing, mm. and just want to be to mind their own business. Mm. Um, so how do you partner with church like that? Mm. And they would say, you know, respect us. Mm. Uh, you know, we we want to have a fellowship with you. Mm. You know, but uh, please uh, do uh, don't give all the attention to just a few. Yeah, uh, I would say um, stars. Yes, you know, uh, yeah. star pastors. Yeah, you know, celebrity pastors yeah. on the global stage. Mm. And don't forget, we call I call the probably silent majority. Mm. Uh, yes. of, uh, of a Christian community yeah. in China. Yeah. Is there anything else that you wanted to say to us today about the Chinese church? Um, or about Christianity in China in general? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, again, I always uh, emphasize the need to um, to to uh, to uh, uh, take their complicity series diversity seriously. Number two, I think is uh, you know how do we create sort of a platform uh, for which the Chinese church can partner, can mm. be in fellowship with the global church. Mm. I feel that uh, that's why I think the, some some institution like Gordon Conwell. Mm. It's important, and your project is mm. important. Mm. It's about the global church. Mm. Um, so uh, you know, uh, some platform like Gordon Conwell mm. uh, is really international community here. Mm. You're really talking about uh, student and faculty from over fifty mm. nationalities. Mm. You know, uh, I, I see that when I work in Hong Kong, I I, mm. uh, I I I think those days I work in Hong Kong. I'm telling myself, I always say Chinese church, mm. but at Gordon Conwell, I say global church every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's why uh, yeah. we need a platform like that, and yeah. we need the Chinese church to be on yeah. this platform, to be yeah. part of this platform. Mm. Xi Yao, thank you for joining us at the Global Church Project. Thank you, it's my pleasure, and yeah. thank you for your invitation, Grant. You've just watched an abridged version of this interview. For the full interview, plus resources for churches and colleges and universities, please visit www.theglobalchurchproject.com. I look forward to your company next time. From me, goodbye.